If you're new to Figma, then you're still probably figuring out all the amazing things it can do, and it does a lot. It combines design, prototyping, and collaboration in one package, but it also does so much more. One of my favorite features in Figma is the design system. If implemented correctly, a design system can save you hours of time. So for example, imagine you've got a button that you use on 30 pages. The button's blue. Suddenly the boss says, can we change that color to purple? I don't really like the blue. After a deep breath and a long sigh, you probably go through all 30 pages and update the color to the new purple. It's painful, it's slow, it's a waste of time. And this is where design systems come in. With a Figma design system, you can centralize design styles and components. The benefit of this is that you can manage them from a one central location and then push those changes out to any design files you use in the future. If your boss comes back and wants to change the color to yellow, you only have to update one style. And then that, like magic, updates all your other files. It's pretty cool. A design system isn't limited to colors though. You can do so much more. You can add iconography, typography, grid layouts, and even drop shadows. And as you go deeper down the design system rabbit hole, you can start leveraging atomic design methodology with components. This methodology was put together by a guy called Brad Frost and basically uses chemistry terminology to categorize user interface. Now I know that sounds a little bit complicated. I didn't do particularly well at chemistry at school, but it's pretty simple. Brad breaks down user interface elements into things like atoms, molecules, and organisms, each of these building on the previous. If you would like to learn more about atomic design methodology, you can get Brad's book for free on his website. I'll put a link in the description. So that was a pretty whistle-stop tour as to what a design system is, but I think the best way for you to learn what it is, how powerful it is, and what you can do with it going forward is to actually build one. So, are you ready to get started? Let's do this. So, first you're going to need Figma. Um, you can sign up for free at figma.com. You get access to unlimited personal files with the free account, so you can play around with it as much as you want. So, let's go ahead and sign up here. I'll set my name and choose designer here. And I'll set use it for work. But you can choose whatever you want here. Hit the create account button. And we're in. You can use Figma in your browser or download the desktop app. I tend to use the desktop app, but that's just a personal preference. Either work great. So I'll choose the starter plan for free, which is a great way to evaluate the tool before you commit. Figma recently introduced a new tool called FigJam, which is a collaborative whiteboarding. It's pretty cool and similar to Miro if you've ever used that. Uh, for now though, I'll select design with Figma. Uh, you now get the option of starting your first project with a preset or template. There are loads more you can choose from in the Figma community too. Uh, for now, we'll just set up a blank canvas and that's it. You'll sign up to Figma, created your team and set up your first file. So we've got our new file. I've renamed it Brom Dust Design and I'll reopen it now. You'll notice in the left hand column, there's a section that says page one. If you click that, it will list out all the pages in your design. We only have one at the moment as it's a new file. With all my Figma pages, I like to name them so other users can easily navigate where they need to. Let's add what's called a frame. This is basically a container for your design. Uh, if you click the frame button at the top here or hit A on your keyboard, I'm going to call it overview. Now the idea of this page is as a reference to what this file is and what's contained in it. You could add all sorts of useful content and link off to any other documents and resources that may be relevant to this project. To start though, I'll just add some text. Uh, you can click the text button at the top here or the keyboard shortcut is T. It's a little bit small, so I'll head over to the inspector panel with the text selected and bump up the font size. 
and increase the weight to black. So as this is going to be our design system master file, we want to be able to publish it so it becomes available to all our future designs. If you click the Figma icon here in the top left and then select libraries, you can see it says no components or styles. So we can't actually publish the file yet. Let's set up a new page by clicking the plus button here and call it colors. Let's add a new frame again by hitting the A key and selecting desktop. Let's name this one colors. Let's draw a shape. If you click the rectangle button up here or keyboard shortcut R and just click and drag in your frame to draw a rectangle. By default, Figma sets gray. I don't like that gray very much, so let's choose another color to add to our design system. We'll go for something blue, then close this. Now click on this button here with the four dots. This is our color style palette. There's nothing in here at the minute as we haven't set anything up. So go ahead and click the plus button here. Give it a name so you can find it easily. I'll call this one primary blue and hit create style. Awesome, congrats, you've just set up your first style. We can now use this wherever we want. Now let's create another color for our palette. Select your blue rectangle and hold alt and drag it to the right. As we want to create a new color, let's disconnect this color from the main palette. Um, now select a new color. Let's go with some sort of shade of orange and go through the same process of creating a style by clicking the plus button. Let's call this one primary orange. Perfect. Now if we open our color selector, you'll see we have two options, primary blue and primary orange. To see how powerful this small bit of work you've done is, let's draw another rectangle. With a gray rectangle selected, hit the style button and our new colors are available. All you have to do is select the color you want, or if you're not happy, switch it. So we now have some styles available. Let's click the Figma icon again and hit libraries. Our design system now has a publish button next to it. Hit that and you'll see the new styles that are going to be published and hit publish styles. You'll get a success message when all is done. Now we can start using the design system across our other designs. Let's set up a new file and test it out. Click the Figma icon and select new design file. Let's create a new desktop frame by hitting the A key. I'll call this one test. If you click your style button, you'll notice it's empty. No worries, let's jump over to the library section. You can see our Brom Does Design design system is available. All we have to do is turn it on for this file. Done, so close this. Let's draw another rectangle and test out our new colors. And there we go. The color styles we set up in our design system are now available in a separate file. One last thing before I start wrapping this video up. Let's revisit that scenario I mentioned earlier where the boss wants to change the blue for a purple. Instead of having to manually update everywhere that blue is used, let's jump back into our design system and change it there. Select the blue rectangle, then select the color selector here. As you hover over the primary blue color, you'll notice an edit icon. Hit that. You'll see the properties for this color style. You can edit the color by clicking here. Now let's select a purple color the boss likes and close that. You'll see that the color has been updated, but the name is now wrong. So let's hit the edit icon again and change the color name to primary purple. Your must color has been updated and is now available. Now that the design system color palette has been updated, we'll need to publish these changes before they're available to your other files. Let's head up to the library section again, hit the publish button and it will show you what's been updated. Yep, I'm happy with that. So let's hit publish styles. Now let's head back over to our test file. You'll see a pop-up in the bottom right letting you know that the updates are available. Hit the review button and it will let you know what's being updated. 
hit update all. And your primary blue has now become the purple your boss wanted. So congratulations, you just set up your first design system in Figma. We went through setting up your first document, adding a couple of color styles, publishing those styles so they're available to other documents, editing a master color in the design system, pushing those changes out, and then watching like magic as it updates your files. I hope this was useful. If you've got any questions or comments, please add them below um, and please like and subscribe. And I will see you very soon on the next video.